everyone, it's Anna. I'm here today with a different video. I'm just gonna kind of add this to my wellness kind of series that I've decided to start doing. I finally got my Erin Condren planner in the mail. So excited. Um, this is my first Erin Condren, but it's not like my first time like planning and everything. I've had a different planner for the longest time. I'll show it because it is so hideous. This is the planner I was using before and I hated it because Got a lot going on in here. The only thing I really like about it is that it has this and my Erin Condren doesn't. So I want to find um, a little card holder to insert into it. But besides that, I just hated how there wasn't much space. Like this was so small. So for the longest time I've been looking for a bigger planner. Um, and So all of this hype and this craze with um, the Erin Condren planners could not have come out at a better time because I was looking for a new planner. So um, I got the one that says she designed a life she loved and then I put my name on there. I customized it because I changed the colors. It originally comes in like a light blue and a dark blue for the letters. So I switched it and I got just purple. I think my light ground, my light ground, <laughs> my background color is the lavender. Oh, Mally's knocking stuff over. The background color I think is in lavender and ooh, I'm not sure. I think the letters are in purple. I will include it in the description box if you're interested in getting the same colors as I did. There's a million videos right now about the Erin Condren um, planners, I know that. Yeah, so I'm just not gonna go out and show like everything, but I will kind of show some of the t things that I've done to mine so far. I put just these little snowflake um, stickers on here. I used to put snowflakes on everything because I'm from Alaska, so I just, I am obsessed with snowflakes. As I'm going to here, I'm gonna show some of the stuff that um, I've been working on. I will say, for these little, um, I'm not sure what, they call, what they're called on the Erin Condren um, website, but they're just these little like gift cards that come with the planner. I'm just gonna use them as little like insert things just for like the quotes because I think they're cute. I need to laminate them again. If you laminate these, I will say, because I have the Scotch laminator, laminate them on the five. The like options, there's like a three and a five. You should definitely put it on the five instead of the three because I did this with regular paper too and it just didn't laminate well. So I would laminate them on five just because they're thick. And I found this great to-do paper. It was like a note paper, but it's not sticky notes. It was just a notepad. Found it at Michael's. It was only like $1.50. So I ended up laminating it and cutting it out. And then I added just little um, like tabs, divider tabs to the side. I put it on the back first and then covered it in tape on the front. Um, so I'm just going to hole punch that and put that in there. Um, since my planner starts in July, I printed out a really cute... June 2015 um, calendar because there were times when I like worked out and drank certain teas like if you've seen my tea video um, I wanted to keep track of like the tea that I had been drinking and when I was working out even last month I just wanted to keep it since I um, have been working out really well lately so I just printed that out on like a thicker cardstock type paper and then did the same with the divider tabs I still have to cut out the holes or hole punch the holes out and I am obsessed with Blogilates I think she's amazing and the planner the planners the calendars really really help if you stick to them and work out with them so from now on I'm going to be printing them out and I will show it at probably a different time how I kind of make them smaller and everything but so I'm going to print them out and add them in there so they still have a little bit of the laminating plastic so that I can punch them and put them in there. But I'm going to do this for every month. Um, you do have to sign up to her newsletter to get the password for um, the calendars. But I swear by Blogilates. I love it. I love Cassie. I think she's amazing. These calendars with all of the workouts on them are great. So I'm going to keep them in here. And then I already started a dashboard as well. I got a different kind of sparkly paper the other day and I already laminated it. And I already started putting some sticky notes on here. Got super duper excited. So and I just need to hole punch these. If you're going to go ahead and add post-its to your dashboard, make sure you add very little. Otherwise, you're gonna if you add too many of them, you're going to start making your planner really bulky. So I try to use just barely any, maybe like five if that. I did watch a video of someone kind of showing um, the Erin Condren planner before I got mine and um, I know they didn't really know what to put in um, this little section at the beginning so what I decided to do is I'm going to make these for like yearly goals and since this planner is a 2015 through 2016 planner for the rest of 2015 I'm going to use these six ones over here for my um, just kind of all around year life goals and then I'll use this one for 2016 
but that might change. So I'm going to decorate just this side first for the 2015, just so you can kind of see what I mean. So for the first little box, and see I matched up the little stickies, just because I might change my mind. So for now, I'm just going to put um, the labels for which kind of goal it is on these little um, flag tabs. So the first one is just going to be a personal goal. And that's for in there. Personal goal can really just be whatever for myself. So if it's like, oh, I want to try to be more patient this year or you know I want to um, just try to be more optimistic and just really be more motivated to do more and just reach out and just try more things and just really get some of the things checked off of my um, to-do list that I've been wanting to do for the longest time so that's more of like my personal goals section. For the second one I thought to put like some kind of social goal for the year and by social goal, I mean like so maybe take out time to maybe call or text some friends or family that I haven't talked to in a while. Um, so maybe put that in there for the year as like kind of reach out to people more often, um, to see people more often. Or by just doing more social things like maybe um, do some kind of charity at one point in the year or a couple times a year maybe. So anything that's kind of more social and just working with other people. And I'll co probably come back to them later. You'll probably see me fill these in later. I just don't know what to put in there, in them yet, because uh, I want to make sure they're solid goals to write down. But so for now, I'm just going to do the labeling of what I want to put, what kind of goals I do want to think of, which I need to think of ASAP before the year's over. So for the third one, I'm just going to put some kind of wellness goal. So this is kind of going to include my health fitness, just all around becoming a better, healthy person. So maybe it's like stay motivated to work out and really actually work out so many times a week. Because I don't really do um, goals, like weight loss goals, like I want to lose this much weight. So my wellness goal will probably just be to stick to a healthier diet and stick to um, uh, a good workout plan of about two to three times a week for my wellness plan. Okay, so for the next goal, I'm going to make this um, kind of like a soul goal. And um, this one might be, I didn't really want to put spiritual because I feel like that's just kind of too specific. So this is just overall just my soul, just my well-being, my soul, just make myself better. So this might be, you know, kind of to like pray every night or just pray more, just pray in certain situations, maybe pray for family. Um, really take time to just sit and just enjoy the planet even, the environment, you know, certain things like that. It's just good for the soul. Um, so I want to put some goals down for that. Or even just like making sure I keep up with a journal. I have the one a day journals, so I wanna make sure that I'm keeping that up and really writing in them every night before I go to bed. Next one, obviously I had to include these in here. So this is gonna be for my career. So this is just for the year. So I'm kind of in a sales environment, so this might be um, to get better with my just my sales technique and stuff like that. So this is just for like my job, my career. And that's for the whole year, the rest of the 2015. And then my last one for the 2015, I want it to be some kind of goal financially. So I'm just going to put a financial goal. So this can either be I want to have so much money saved up. Maybe I want to stop spending so much because we all know if you've seen my videos, I have a shopping problem. So that might go in here as well. So that's just kind of my goals that I eventually want to write in. I will... Keep it updated with as I plan with you guys and in my videos when I fill these out. So just want to make sure they're good concrete ones. So like I said, I want these ones to be for 2015. I'm just going to take these little um, sticker numbers and I'm going to put down at the bottom, down on the sides. I'm just going to do 2015, 2016 with the numbers. These are actually like really stiff numbers too. So if you see these at a store, these are really, really nice stickers. They're really sturdy. And I'm going to start because I'm putting it on this corner, like the opposite corners. I'm actually going to start with the six first. Here 
in this little like notes section. It's labeled off notes. Um, I like to keep a page to test some of the pens that I want to use. So I actually started on this one, but um, I want to move it to one of these, I think, just because the ones with all these little lines, the grid lines, are just so annoying. I just, I hate, I just don't like it. So um, I just don't really see myself using them as an actual note page. So I'm going to test out the markers and the pens, whatever I want to use to write with in here. Also, I think this is an awesome... Um, little thing to do as well. I want to keep track of everything that I want to be adding to my planner. Um, so see, I put things to add to planner here. I just highlight it because this is what this whole page is going to be for. So in here, I kind of included payday and like the days I get like a bonus to my pay. Um, I put the film day, like all my YouTube stuff. So the film edit day, upload, when my bills are due, anything with O'Malley. So like when I need to trim her nails or her claws, <laughs> um, when I need to give her the flea medicine. Um, and just some other things like grocery shopping, um, printing stuff, like printing my blog Blogilates calendar. I think it's really important for these two. And um, so some future dates that I'm going to be adding on. These are more for like next year, but I want to make sure I include it in the planner. So I put it on a little sticky note. But so on this page, I'm going to kind of um, put some of the stickers that I might be using for those things. So I just want to show these before the lighting got too bad. So I'm printing out like my own stickers. I made these on Photoshop. I know a lot of people probably don't have Photoshop. I just only still have it because I needed it for school. So I just continue to pay for it. Um, and it's really coming in handy now. So I'm making these on Photoshop. You can make them on, um, like a word processor, like Microsoft Word. And I know there's videos on YouTube for that. Um, I would just like kind of search maybe DIY planner stickers and it should come up. But so I'm just making these. Are, these are going to be for like the days when I get like bonus days. And then these I made the first camera ones. These are going to be my film days. Uh, these ones I'm going to be for my edit days. And then this is the upload days. And then I have days when kind of um, I make my own jewelry sometimes for myself. So for now I just printed them out on regular paper and I'm just going to use um, this little hole puncher that I have. See, it's just that. It's just a plain circle hole punch. This I think is like, what's the size of this? It's one and a half centimeter um, large circle. So I'm just gonna slide them over. And what's nice is it's clear on the bottom. So I can actually take these and since it's clear, I'm gonna cut them up kind of in strips. But since it's clear, I can go like this and see it shows inside and so I'll be able to know where to um, kind of squeeze it out. This one is just, it's not, here, maybe I'll try this one. Show it this one. So you would just take it and slide it in. Make sure you get it lined up right and then just go like this. I can get it out of here now should slide out of the bottom. Maybe not. And so see, I made it the right size so that it prints out exactly correctly. And then I'm just going to use a double-sided tape on the back. And like I said, I just printed these on normal printer, normal white printer paper for now until I get sticker paper and then I'll be printing it out on that. I also just found really cute and simple weather icons and I actually colored them in. Again, I used Photoshop for this so that I was able to like color them because they were just all black lines and so I made like the sun's yellow and everything and then I can just use these. I might try to get a smaller hole punch for these since they're a lot smaller. Ooh, since they're a lot smaller. Um, but so I just printed them out like copied it a million times and just printed out the little weather icon. My dashboard that I love. I put the Hello Kitty sticker, sticky notes on it. And so I've been using it just to like get started for July. So I've been using it a little bit kind of just for July, getting a feel for it and everything. Um, so this is just kind of what this week looks like. And this is my first week planning in it. So I'm still, like I said, really getting used to how everything works. I think for next week I will kind of do a plan with me so you can kind of see how I plan it out. Because maybe it'll help you. I don't know. It's not as decorative as a lot of people's. So maybe that'll help you if you're someone who just likes... Ooh, shook it. Who just likes to kind of keep it a little bit more simple. Um, I have started to put in... I'm like writing in now in like a red pen or marker. 
um, how much money I spend on just like excessive things that I really don't need to be spending money on in a day. So right here I wrote $49 in red. I don't really think I'm going to put what I spent it on in here because I do have a finance book separate. Um, so I'm just going to put the amount. So it's like all week I can kind of check it and see, oh, I spent too much money in general because I shouldn't be spending anything besides my bills, especially a week that like bills are due. Just from using it this week, I've already noticed that I need to kind of reorganize the book because I am using some of the books that came along with the planner. I am using my wellness journal and I've been using my um, like perpetual calendar, the one that like keeps just all of the important dates for like the whole month. And that just comes free with your um, Erin Condren if you haven't gotten one before. So I did get this, it just comes with it. I just kind of covered up what I have in here, but I'm actually not gonna use this to keep dates. I'm gonna use this to keep track of the videos that I want to be doing. And so I just list all of my ideas, so I kind of covered it up just because they're secrets. <laughs> I listed all of the videos I want to do, it's a lot of videos. Um, and then I ended up putting, so the label up top, it just says video, and then it says film, edit, up. And so the up is obviously so for uploads, so upload it to YouTube. And then so I can just check these off. I check it off under the film, edit, upload sections as I get to them. And then usually they're, the pages are numbered 1 through 31 down here for like the days. Just like on this side because it's really for using um, or writing down events that happen every month. So there's the same number of days in the month written down. I just took a white out like draggy pen thing like sticker thing and I whited out all of the numbers down the side and I put actually the numbers I'm putting in order how I want to upload the video so that's why you see them kind of jam jumbled jambled scrambled around so it's like I have one two three four five six labeled and so as I get them all finished I'll just kind of check that off and I started with July I started in July just because it's July, so these are kind of the ideas I have as of July, and I'll just kind of work through as I go. So that's how I'm going to use it, but since I'm going to be pulling this out often, I want to keep it in the little pocket that comes in the planner. The only problem is this pocket is all the way at the back, so I have to lift up everything and go to the back. Okay, so I did rip out the already printed stickers just because I feel like most of them I'm not really going to be using that often. So I pulled them out, the two pages I think it is. I ripped those out and I kept the blank stickers in here. But grabbing from this folder, if this is going to be sitting in it because I like to keep it in there, if this is going to be in the back, it's just like a hassle. Like it's just annoying to constantly have to lift the whole thing over. So I got a tip actually from the Erin Condren website. I was looking at the covers because I want to design my own cover or just get a different cover. Um, so there's a trick on there that talks about flipping over and removing and changing out the covers. And they show that you can flip everything around, which is genius. I, I, don't, I just never thought about it. So I'm actually going to switch my pocket and this little zip pocket to the front because them being in the back is just annoying. So I'm just gonna take off this back cover. So there's my back off. And I'm gonna turn around and take the front off. I just try to be careful with like the last one. So now here's my front and here's the back with the pockets. I'm gonna take the clear pocket, there's the clear pocket, and this like folder pocket, and I'm just gonna switch it all the way around to the front. So now I have my dashboard and these two things up front, so that since I'm gonna be keeping this in here, I don't have to constantly turn to the back and like lift all the pages, it's just a hassle. And so now since that's back on, and now this is in the front, I'm gonna put my cover back on see if we can do this. Why is this so hard? And today I watched the video of her doing it too and I was like, why do you need to watch a video to know how to replace this? But it's actually kind of difficult. Which I guess is good because it means it's really sturdy on there. 
so go in. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna take scissors. She said you can be able to like just pop it. It's not going. Okay, so now there's my front. And so now the pockets and everything are at the front of my planner. We'll just turn this around again. And I'm just going to put this back cover on. This is not working as easy as they said it would on the video. Like at all, actually. Oh my, they did it so easily. I guess it's just they're used to doing it, but there we go. Yay. So now see, here's the front of my planner. It goes the pocket, the zip pocket. 